Hey what is up guys, welcome back to another Minecraft Windows 10 video. Today we're going to look at Minecraft skins and I'm going to show you how to download and install skins for Minecraft Windows 10 aka Minecraft Bedrock and as you can see I've currently got a custom skin on here and it looks quite cool and there's actually two ways to install skins in Minecraft for Windows 10. And the first method is that you can actually use the game's inbuilt skin menu system. And the other method is you can download a custom skin from the Minecraft skins website and then import it into your game. So let me just go into the main menu first of all. And if I click on profile, click on my character, and one method is to actually click on owned. And as you can see, there are a few skins here which I do own, so I can actually go ahead and select these. And I did get these for free from the Minecraft store. In Minecraft Windows 10, they do sometimes have these free offers where you can actually get these skins for completely free. Obviously, if I click on get more, these will be locked and you do have to pay for them, as you can see there. So they do have quite a large selection, obviously. All right, so one of the other methods is to actually import it. So yeah, as you can see, it says here import and I can click on choose new skin and it will open up an option to import it from my desktop. OK, so I'm now going to show you how to download and import a custom skin into your Minecraft Windows 10 Bedrock game. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is if you open up your internet browser, just start typing in Minecraft Bedrock Skins. And it's normally this website which I like to go to, which is minecraftskins.com. So if we just click on that, and what this will do is it will display all the skins available for Minecraft Bedrock, aka Minecraft Windows 10. Now do bear in mind this website does have a few ads on it. Okay, so let's choose one that we can download and import into our game. As you can see, they've got a large selection here. All right, let's go for this one here. And it's really cool because you can actually move this about and it should show you the 3D model of the character. All right, so just be careful. There will be other links here that says download, but the one that you need to click on is over here to the right. So if you just go ahead and click on this, which says download, it should start downloading a PNG file. All right, so I've gone ahead and placed this PNG file on my desktop. And if you open it, it will look really weird. But don't worry about that now. What we're going to do is we're going to go back into our Minecraft game. Just wait for that to load up. And just click on profile. Click on one of these. Click on owned. Click on this import button here, click on choose new skin, it will ask you to import it. So choose the one that you recently downloaded, so I've got this one here, which is the PNG file. And I'm going to click on open, and it will say choose your correct model type for your skin. And I'm going to go for this one, I do like the thicker models there, not the slim ones. And as you can see, I've now got a custom skin enabled. And now I'm going to create a new world, a normal survival world, just to show you an example. And there we go. So as you can see, I've now got a custom skin and I can play my survival world with this custom skin as well. This looks really cool. As you guys can see. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, 
please do give it a like. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. Uh, please do subscribe to this channel to help support to help it grow. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.